Hey guys, this video is what to expect when expecting a boob job. So I got a boob job in October of 2018 and I have never looked back since. But ever since I got them done, I've had questions. And to be honest, I was a little, I guess, shy about answering them. But today I will answer everyone's questions and I will give you guys the rundown of what to expect, how it felt, and stuff that only somebody that's been through the actual process can answer. First and foremost, the most important part about doing the procedure is making sure that it's something that you really, really want and not what your partner wants or what your friends want or even what your job requires. Like if you're a stripper or a hostess or a bartender, like it's really important to make sure that this decision that you make for your body is a decision that you're okay with emotionally, financially, and physically. And it's a physical, I mean, it's a financial investment because at the end of the day, after 10 to 15 years, you're gonna have to go back to the doctor and either get them redone or whatever looked at. So you have to have the money to be able to get them redone every 10 years and you gotta make sure that you are financially able to uphold that for yourself. So that's one of the most important things is understanding this is a commitment and it's a lifelong choice and you gotta make sure that's what you really, really want, okay? first and foremost. Second, one of the most important things is making sure that you're 100% comfortable with the doctor that you choose to go to. I looked at a lot of doctors prior to the surgery um, and it was really important that I was able to feel comfortable. I looked at websites, looked at before and after pictures, I looked at uh, reviews, I looked at customer reviews, I looked up the doctor's um, medical board, standing, I looked up all that information because it's important that the doctor you go to is a good doctor. Um, and then I, I scheduled a consultation, which I went to, and when I arrived, the facility was nice, it was clean, the doctor was nice, the people in front desk were nice, the nurses were nice. So I felt very, very comfortable from the initial consultation, and that's when I chose to go with that doctor. The initial consultation was basically them checking me out, seeing, you know, if I had enough tissue and skin and all of that, and I qualified for everything. Some doctors will make you do blood work or physical, whatever, to make sure that you're actually physically fit. If you smoke nicotine or cigarettes, you're going to have to stop prior to the surgery and after the surgery because it will slow down your healing process, um, including marijuana. <laughs> and... uh. When you do the consultation, they're going to give you a bra, a regular wired bra, and they're going to give you the silicone stuffing, whatever it is. And you're going to put the silicone stuffing in the bra and see how the breasts look on you under a t-shirt. And that way you get to see what kind of size you want. What I chose was a natural size. I wanted something that fit my body and was also natural looking. So I got a big C, small D, which in Victoria's Secret is like a 24, I mean a 34 double D. Um, in regular sizes, it's like a 24 D. Sometimes I fit in like um, 36 Ds. So it just depends on like the maker of the bra. But again, I didn't want like huge double D titties. I wanted something that fit my body type. And my doctor did a great job listening to my needs. There's three ways you can insert the, I guess, enhancement or the silicone pad or whatever it is. Three ways. Um, you can do under the breast, on the armpit, or around the areola. I want to have kids in the future, so I chose to do under the breast because it's minimally invasive. There's also two kinds you can get. You can get the silicone and you can get the saline. I chose the saline because it's similar to your body type. Because, let's say, like, 70% of your body, I'm not sure if it's 70, but it's a high percent of your body is water. And so saline is salt water, so I chose to do saline. Um, 
I had a great consultation. I picked saline. I uh, picked the size I wanted. And eventually the doctor and I were talking. And he's like, you know, you can get lipo too if you want. Because it will make your breasts look nice. So um, he had a lipo on there for an extra 800 I don't know how it goes, but I paid mine up front. And that's something you're going to have to talk to from doctor to doctor based on the price and all of that. And that, that's usually at the consultation where you guys can talk money. So um, they had an opening for the very next day. So I went in and I did the, con I mean, I did the surgery the very next day. I didn't eat after 12 p.m. I mean, a.m., sorry. After 12 a.m. And I went in there in the morning. I was so nervous. I was so fucking nervous. But I was okay. You know, I was with people that made me like calm down the surgeon was really really nice they even brought me in the operating room and laid me down and the anesthesiologist and the doctor were talking to me and then before I knew it I fell asleep and I woke up with boobs um when you get them done they're gonna give you a bra this is the bra I was given it doesn't snap in the front I mean in the back it snaps in the front basically you put it on whatever <laughs> and then it snaps right here you can't wear wired you can't wear any wired bras for about a month after the surgery because it can mess up with your incision. I don't know what that's like for the areola or the under the armpit incision, but for me, I couldn't wear wired bras. I only had to wear sports bras or this bra specifically, I think I had to wear for like a week, a week and a half, maybe even two. I saw the doctor three days after the surgery and then once a week for like a month and a half just to make sure the healing was fine, which it was. I was on bed rest for about a week, a week and a half, and then I was able to get up. One thing that you can't do for about two, three weeks is heavy lifting, uh, going down, uh, picking your hands up, stuff like that. No vacuuming, no machine washing, no all that. You can't sleep on your side at all. You can only sleep on your back because you have a chance of it turning into a uniboob when you do that. So that's really important not to sleep on your side which was so hard for me because I sleep on the side all the time um I was on medication and the most important thing is medication management and pain management and making sure that you always stay ahead of the pain one thing that the medicine did do though was constipate the holy shit out of me and it was so hard to deal with that because I had stitches here and it was like I just wanted to poop and <laughs> it was just so hard but um you get through it, you take like a laxative, you know, and you just deal with it. But besides that, it wasn't a very painful procedure. You just gotta make sure that you have somebody there for you that can take care of you after the fact for about a week or so until you're ready to really get back up on your feet. And that's pretty much it. You just gotta make sure that's something you wanna do, make sure that's something that you're happy with, and you would just do it. I won't go back. I love them, I'm happy with them. And I hope I answered all your questions because a lot of people were asking me so many questions and I just wanted to get it out in the open and tell everyone what it's like. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment on the comment section. Also, I have one more beef before I leave. I don't know whoever is on my page, whoever hates me, whoever has beef with me, whoever keeps thumbs downing my videos, like that's cool, you can continue doing that. I don't really care as long as you're watching them. At the end of the day, like, I'm sorry you don't like me that much. I don't know what to say. But um, I'll put my Facebook down in the comments. And you're welcome to message me. And we can talk one-on-one, -on -one, whoever you are. And I'm sure we can we can get to a resolution. Um, besides that, for all the people that show me love, I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. I just want to scroll the count me up the fetish. Trail the mozzarella, can't forget the relish. Lottery in the trap.